Hey guys, welcome back. It's your girl, Crystal Nicole, and I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and an even better New Year. So to jump right into this video, I'm going to be priming my eyelids using my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee. And I'm just going to apply that there. And then I'm going in with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in the color Milk. Because I'm using a very, very vibrant color, I want the color on my lid to stand out a little bit. So this will help that color pop more. Now I'm going in with this red shade from NYX and I'm also going to place that right on top of that milk primer, eyelid primer rather. And I'm going to, uh, usually I would uh, start from, you know, like the transition area and work my way down. But with this color here, I want to make sure I have it blended well. So I start in reverse, so to speak. I start with my lid and then work my way up. And with that, I'm taking my color Coco Bear from Makeup Geek? Yeah, well anyways, I have all the products listed down below for you guys. And I'm going to blend that color into my crease area and my transition area to make sure I blend out that red color. And I'm taking this champagne color from the Graffiti Palette and I'm just placing that in my brow bone and blending everything out of course because we want to blend, blend, blend. That's just what we do. And I'm also taking that same shade and I'm applying it in the inner tear duct area to give my shadow and my colors and every all that good stuff a little pop you know and of course the usual i'm going in with my favorite primer of all times and it's the rimmel london stay matte and it really does help me stay matte perfect is it perfect yes yes and now i'm going to go in and color correct because i do have some dark spots and i need to get you know um, as much of a flawless coverage as possible so you do what you got to do and I'm going to color correct with my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color orange and then I'm going in with this um, concealer from this palette that I got from somewhere I don't know where I can't even list it down below y'all because I don't know where I got it from I do apologize and after that I'm going in with my illuminating stuff that I got from NYX and also I'm going to mix that with my foundation from Milani and I'm going to mix it together and I find that using this illuminator it really does give you a glowing look so to speak um it's not really an oily look because you know I can't be oily just mm -mm, that's what we won't do but it does give you some sort of a glow it's not the best but for the price you really can't beat it I promise you can't beat it you'll love it you'll love it you'll love it and as you can see, I'm just blending that out with my damp beauty blender. And once I get done with that, I'm going in and I'm going to conceal under my eyes, you know, cause I need a little brightness there, a little help. Cause your girl is tired. And I'm going in and I'm setting my face with my Cotty Air Spun Translucent Powder to give me just a little more protection from, you know, this thing called oil my enemy yes my enemy and so to blend that out i'm using that same damp beauty blender and i'm just going to blend that highlight out and i'm going to set it of course with my favorite 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 and it's my sasha buttercup mm -hmm. if you haven't tried it you should try it i don't know what you're waiting on yeah try it you'll love it you'll love it and i'm going to carve out my cheekbone area yeah, because I don't want to do too much of, you know, like a strong contour, but I do want to give some definition to my face. So I'm just going to carve that out using that same translucent powder. And I'm going in with my bronzer and I'm just going to bronze that area that you see me bronzing there. And just bronze, bronze, bronze. So, of course, and I'm just going to do my forehead. Oh, I was about to be so country. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, my forehead, and I'm just going to blend that translucent powder out with my black opal and make sure to get all in there and buff that out because you don't want any lines of demarcation. You want to look ghostly. You want it all to blend in. And so to do that, I'm taking my face powder and I'm just going over my face and just blending all and everything together because we want a seamless, seamless finish, of course. And I'm just going to blend and blend away. So, guys, it's crazy. 
I've been wanting to do a video for the longest and I probably should have some already, you know, done, but I don't. But my eyelid got infected. Yeah, so I can't even record a video until this thing heals. Girl, if I get on camera with this thing, oh my God, it is huge. So yeah, it's always something, I swear, it's just terrible. But I'm working on it. I'm working on getting it cleared and you know out of the way so I can get back on camera because I do have a lot of great ideas I want to share with you guys. So I know, I know, I know. Don't cry. Don't you cry. I'll be back soon. <laughs> and here I'm just applying my mascara. You know, the same routine. It's nothing really different. You know, same thing. And I'm going in with my favorite combo. And I'll list this liner down below. I know it's called Coco, but I can't remember what brand. So forgive me. And of course, that's my NYX Butter Gloss, and I too will leave that color down below. I just think this combo works really well. Even if you want to go with a very neutral and natural look, this lip combination will suit that to the T. It's very natural, and it's an everyday thing. Just pop on a brown liner and, you know some butter gloss or some lip gloss and you know go from there now I tried this first shade right here which is really pretty but it wasn't really what I was going for I wanted something a little more toned down and this was rather bright so it, it kind of clashed with my um, color that I was wearing on my lid so I had some wiping off I was thinking about it. I was like can I pull it off will it work and mm -mm. it's like girl no mm -mm. I want to change it, girl. So I got rid of that shade, and I'm still going to use my brown cocoa liner. I cannot think of the brand for some reason, but like I said, I'll list it down below. And the color that I chose to wear this time is, you know, NYX, and it's praline. I think that's it. Yeah, that's the color I think I, I'm thinking. I don't know. Like I said, I'll list everything down below. But this color worked much better with the look that I was going for. It, it's not too bright. It's more toned down because my eyes are bright, of course. And you don't want a bright eye and a bright lip, you know. So it's either one or the other. You can't have both. You can because there are no rules in makeup. But I choose to you know not do both at the same time you know and this guys is the finished look and i hope you guys enjoy thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to my channel i love you guys so much bye bye he's body baby he's body baby oh